runway 28 clear for takeoff. Shamrock 1 for 7 for life. Are we all set? Set. OK. So they've got clear for takeoff, and they've just been told the surface wind, which is important in terms of how they're going to position the controls uh, during the takeoff roll. Captain's now lining it up on the centre line. It's his takeoff. Could be the first officer, but this time it's him. First officer's just set power to an intermediate setting to make sure that the engines are stable and working. And he's now set takeoff thrust, which they will have calculated before they start. He's now just aiming to stay on the centre line, ready to close the thrust levers in case of an engine failure, just aiming to make sure that he keeps the aircraft in the middle of the runway. That's takeoff decision speed, so at this point they cannot turn back. Rotate is the speed at which he's going to apply elevator control, pull the control column back, and the aircraft starts flying. First officer verifies that the aircraft's climbing. She states that positive climb, and he gets the gear up, or he asks for the gear up, she then reads that back. And that's a principle that we use in everything that we do in the flight deck. So one person observes, states the situation, the other person then asks for the control to be moved. That is then read back before the control itself is moved.